Welcome everybody to the last week of September and the first full week of autumn. The equinox occurred Monday morning very early, so we are into our first full week of the change of seasons. Wish the temperatures would cooperate a little bit to feel a little bit more like autumn, but that's not going to be happening anytime soon, unfortunately. But keep it tuned to the weather experts and we'll keep you updated on that. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. You're watching Your Environment. This is the News Channel 3 online update as to what's going on around the Mid-South and beyond where it comes to things environmental, recycling, anything in the way of ecology out there. And we welcome your input where it comes to anything going on, where it comes to recycling efforts, cleanup. Uh, updates, anything like that happening out there. We'd love to know more about that. And the best way to get in contact with me, social media at the bottom of your screen. And don't forget, you can also, again, email me at austin.onic at wreg.com. We want to know what's going on out in your communities so we can figure out and get more people involved to find out more about what people are doing to help the environment and to help clean up little efforts can go a long way so if you can tell more people about what's going on we get more people involved we'd love to be able to help out so please consider letting us know if you have an effort or some sort of project going on that might be able to help coming up in just a little bit we'll take a look again at what's going on with the rainforest site how much land has been saved out there we'll also take a look at what's going on with climate change and the climate change meetings being held by the united nations which was preceded by the climate strike this last week. More on that coming up here in just a little while. We do have a cold front on the way. And this cold front is going to be, again, making its way into the Mid-South as we go throughout the early part of the week. Now, that in and of itself, not really a very powerful system, but it may be enough to help to keep things at least a little bit clearer out there where it comes to the atmospheric pollutants. We were at a code orange ozone alert last week. Doesn't look like that'll be happening anytime soon, but again, large metropolitan area, just like Memphis, again, around this location can pick up some pretty good amounts of pollutants. So it's a good possibility we may see some of that later on if we again get a bit of a stagnant atmosphere and that may be happening later on this week. But in the meantime, from the Air Now system, from the Environmental Protection Agency, again at Air Now, Dot gov if you'd like to know more about what's going on with that or you can go to the National Weather Service in Memphis to find out more about air quality in the area and the forecasts and all kinds of neat things that we may be expecting for there. But as of right now, things looking again decently clear for the Mid-South for the time being. We are keeping an eye on burn bands across the area. And so far, the good news is that the moisture we received over the last few weeks has not been doing too much in the way of a problem for us. But Lee County in Arkansas is under a burn ban in the News Channel 3 viewing area. Southern Arkansas seeing a a lot of burn bans in effect at this time and back into around central Arkansas just north of Little Rock could be some problems again with wildfires out there. This is from the Arkansas Forestry Agency or the Arkansas Forestry Commission. Taking a look into Mississippi, we do not have any burn bans in effect. However, Adams County, that was just issued this last weekend. Uh, again, the burn ban in effect for Adams County in Mississippi. That's the only one for the state of Mississippi at this time. Tennessee does not issue burn bans per se, unless under a great need basis. So again, so far not seeing an issue at this point with anything involving burn bans for the state of Tennessee, but a burn permit will be required after October 15th. So please keep that in mind out there. Mentioning burn bans and again, smoke from a lot of the fires out there. Unfortunately, a lot that is being set deliberately to clear land down in the Amazon, which is still on fire out there, and that's having an effect on our weather. You're breathing in that smoke right now. The climate strike last week around the world with Greta Thunberg, the teenage activist coming in from Sweden and inspiring hundreds of thousands of people to walk off the job and into the streets to protest the lack of action when it comes to anything involving governmental agencies getting involved to help prevent climate change. And there's a lot that we could be doing 
but we are not doing at this point in time, and our elected leaders need to hear a little bit more about this. You can even see a little bit more about what was going on in and around Memphis. I had a chance to stop by the Memphis climate strike at Civic Plaza last week Friday. Had an opportunity to see some of the signs and the protests going on, and thanks to everybody for cleaning up afterwards. Did a good job of picking up. I couldn't even find a stray cigarette butt after everything was changed and done down there, but some great signs and some great participation, getting some democracy in action, showing what goes on. Now, coming up this week, we are going to be seeing a lot of people from around the world meeting with the United Nations to give us a hopefully a little bit better idea as to what's going to be going on with the development of some more policies in regards to climate change and how, again, we can make a cleaner planet and make sure that everybody is able to, again, uh, be as clean as possible out there. It looks like we're having some trouble with the... Uh, website at this point in time. Hopefully that will get going here again in just a little bit. The United Nations Framework for Climate Change Policy. Uh, more information from UNFCCC. You can find out more details as to what's going on there. And of course the best possibility again of participation is going to be you getting involved with what goes on across much of the area. Just in the local frame, that can help out. The Climate Action Summit will be going on this next week, and things to watch out for as that happens, as reported by Vox.com. Uh, information about what has been going on with the Paris Agreement, and Secretary General Antonio Guterres urging the leaders that are going to be attending the Climate Summit to do a better job of making certain we have plans rather than speeches. So there's a ton of stuff that we can see uh, hopefully going on for later on this week, but a good opportunity to get involved with the climate strike going on. There will be another climate strike on the University of Mississippi campus coming up as we go into and around the area of this next Friday. So if you'd like to know more about the United Nations and what they're going to be doing for creating a sustainable planet, unitednations.org or UNF triple c dot i n t for the united nations framework on climate change good opportunity to learn a little bit more about that why is this such an issue well because unfortunately the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is rising and we are doing a pretty good job of causing that ourselves with the engines that we drive, the fossil fuel engines out there that do a very good job of helping to store heat from the sun. And that's helping to, again, heat up the atmosphere. More about that and proving how that works. The National Centers for Environmental Information. The National Centers for the National Climatic Data Center has more information on this. So does NASA. So does the EPA. Tons of information available out there. So good opportunity to learn more about what humans are doing to the planet. If you'd like to check out and see a little bit more about why and how we are doing this to our own planet out there. Okay, taking a look at again climate change and what you can do for things. Clicking on the big green button is your opportunity to help out through the rainforestsite. Com. 13 million plus clicks have been recorded since the beginning of 2019, and in doing so, that has saved nearly 7,000 acres from being developed in the tropical rainforest, which is, again, the lungs of our planet. How do you do this? It's very easy. All you have to do is, again, click on the big green button at therainforestsite.com for more information. And all you have to do is just go to, again, that particular website and click on that green button right there. Matter of fact, that's exactly what we're going to do right now. And that'll, again, protect another fraction of the rainforest. You click on the button. You view some ads. Looks like it's being kind of cranky for tonight, so I don't know if this is going to work at this point in time. But you click on the button, view some ads, and the sponsors of those ads pay to make certain that the rainforest site will not be developed. So something kind of cool to take a look at there. And again, that's at therainforestsite.com for more information. We'll be following along with the United Nations Climate Summit throughout the rest of the week, so definitely a lot to take care of right there and to find out more about. And, of course, we're going to be seeing a lot more cleanup stuff going on in the Mid-South area, recycling and ecology and environmental efforts going on throughout the next several days and weeks as the temperatures finally begin to cool off by just a little bit. So, again, if you've got information about what's going on out there, please let us know. Drop us a line at the various social media sites you see on your page or, again, send me an email at austin.onic at wreg.com. Coming up next week, we'll talk about the results 
from the United Nations Framework on Climate Change meeting and what was actually said and hopefully more concrete goals that will be listed for the planet to take care of our atmosphere and to make certain we are, again, a little bit better protected. From downtown Memphis at News Channel 3, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with Your Environment Echo Blog.